Well, before that, uh, before what you mentioned, the master taking images uh, by the uh, by the cameras on board the rover. You see that because uh, for finding the confirmed mission of the successful landing, we just need the t telemetry data, which only have a very small amount. But for the image, we get the image and uh, send that back to the Earth. We need a lot of time, so we do need time, and also we must check out every subsystem of the vehicle is okay. Uh, and after that, uh, we will uh, undeploy the uh, solar panels and then, uh, as you mentioned, going down to the Martian surface. So we still need some time. Uh, be, uh, during this process, I should also em emphasize that we must concern about the environment of the Mar Mars. Although, uh, to some extent, the temperature is not so crucial like on the lunar surface. But, you know, that's uh, there are sand on the Martian surface. Well, so sorry, why it's not so crucial? Tell us. Uh, you know that because the Mars has an atmosphere, uh, not a vacuum condition. So the uh, at the night the temperature is not so low as the at the moon, and in the daytime is not so high as the uh, lunar surface. Uh, but it, the temperature has a more co convenient uh, comparing to the moon. Uh, but the other conditions is not uh, so good like the, on the moon, uh, because you know that we must consider the influence of the sun, even the sun storms. So. Uh, during the history, the failure of the landing of the former Soviet Union is caused by the sandstorm. Right. So uh, what about the specific tasks uh, with the uh, rover uh, analyzing uh, Martian soil and maybe finding signs of life, signs of uh, water? Uh, would that be very challenging? Exactly. You see, until now, the human being has not found any evidence of the uh, extraterrestrial life forms, even on the Mars. You see that although the United States has launched so many uh, orbiters and lander rovers on the moon surface, uh, on the Martian surface, still don't have. The Utopia planet here, as Yang Zhang mentioned, is a good place because uh, it is believed that there are uh, ancient oceans and also uh, the ancient uh, land is not far away. So it is quite possible for Earth to find this kind of evidence. So we have multiple sensors. We have the uh, multi-spectral cameras, and also we have the Martian component uh, uh, analyzers to, uh, and with uh, laser uh, to induce the, uh, vaporized, uh, the vaporized material on the Martian surface and look at it with a camera to analyze what inside. So um, all these experiments, research, as you just mentioned, will be carried on the surface of Mars. Yes. So is it uh, possible for China uh, to bring them back? I mean, a return mission from Mars, is that within uh, the planning site right now? Not this time. You see that... Uh, what about we, in the future? In the yes, near future, in the future, maybe. we do have a plan to have a sample return mission from the Mars. It's more difficult. You see that uh, we, land, uh, we send a rover to the Martian face, we use our most powerful uh, rocket, uh, Long March 5, this time. In the future, if we want to have a, a sample return mission from Mars, we need an even more uh, powerful rocket, maybe in the f future, which has the same level as the human missions to the moon. Uh, you see, this is because, you know, that uh, from the Earth to the Moon, we need a large rocket, which what we call the Delta V, uh, to get the velocity from the Earth to the Moon, and uh, sorry, uh, from the Earth to the Mars. But uh, but uh, for the missions back, we also need the uh, the same level of Delta V from Mars to the Earth. So the uh, the the probe itself will be much bigger than the uh, than, than than the probe this time. Uh, maybe we will even need multiple launches uh, for the lander and the returner from Mars to the Earth.